Hey you guys, another episode. Got a surprise for you guys here. Another unboxing. Um, there, this is old, 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 but you know what? I'm gonna show it anyway. A lot of people have already built these kits, but they finally got me a kit. Technically, I got me a kit finally, guys. There we go, RJ Speed Pro Mod kit. I want to get the other ones too, but uh, all the guys want to do a uh, Saturday night drag racing in my crawler club now so we're gonna start doing a 505 list saturday nights we're gonna do cash days and um and uh the list that there. so there you go guys there's that let me uh Take it off and show what's inside. Alright guys, here's the kit out of the box. There's the body. It's like a blue tent. That's pretty cool. Hopefully it's just a cover. But uh, like the protective liner that you take off. Here is the parts bag. Seems to be labeled pretty well. And legible. That's cool. Oh. Here's the bottom of the chassis. Kind of looks like some kind of particle board or press board or something. Kind of like carbon fiber, but it's not carbon fiber. But there we go, guys. I'm going to do a build series on this guy for you guys. I'm going to film it. Here's the uh, rear slicks. They're foam. Foam slicks, they bolt on, which is crazy, like a scale uh, crawler, the hub. That's pretty cool. The replacement ones are way wider. I've seen on the video, they're about here to about there, about that wide to the end of my thumb there. So, these are small, but they're not bad, you know. See how they work, you know. And then this is just packaging. They packaged it really well too. And then of course here's your instructions, your stickers, decals, whatever you want to call them. But uh, pretty self-explanatory. I'm gonna definitely get that guy right there, the rail. That's so cool. And then the dirt cars too, guys. They have a bunch of cool stuff. And then oh wow, they have the new products right there. They have motor mount. And the uh, hubs, like I was saying, that screw onto the rim, not the hub. That's pretty cool. And then there's for the front tires, rear tires, etc. The front aluminum. I think those are like aluminum aftermarket wheels, but if not, they have them on eBay too. But with this guy, I'll probably run the foams and put the Traxxas front tires on there because the main problem I've seen or heard about with this kit is the front tires are just little rubber o-rings and it, they suck but I'm gonna glue mine on so we'll see what happens there alright guys there's a little unboxing video for it and I may start building it actually right here right now so let me pause it and I'll get all my tools and we'll come back all right, guys, got you set up. I'm gonna turn on my bright shop light, so hopefully it's not too bright. Well, we'll find out here in a second because I need this on to uh, see what I'm doing. Oh, it's not too bad on the phone. That'll work. All right, guys, let's get this sucker open up, shall we? Got the manual. That's in a Ziploc bag. Let's open these guys. Alright. Got our rear foam tires here. This is how they look. Some really compact foam too. It's not that super soft. So there's that one. So there's those. This is also what I'm going to run in it guys. It's all scratched up because I had it in my Torment, my high-speed truck, but it's a four-pole castle 
a one eight scale system. And uh, this is the what is it? The Mamba Max Pro system. And then I'm gonna run the Spectrum e uh, servo. And it's an S6040 surface high speed servo. So I don't know if you guys can see that. But it's a Spectrum servo. So I'm going to run that in it. The body I'll wait last because we, we got to build this. And it's nice that it gives you the gears too, your spur and pinion to run in it. I have this pinion though too, a 31. So I don't know. We'll, we'll experiment. I'll run it stock so and see how it is stock with the stuff it comes with. And then we'll go from there. Let's get this bad boy open real quick. Yeah, it's kind of, that's weird, but it's, it's fairly light. This thing's really going to move it. All right, let's pull all these out. All right there. I'll show you guys the front tires as well on this rig or drag car. There we go. Now you guys can see it better. <laughs> Okay, got zip ties here, big giant zip ties. And this is the ride height bar, I believe, for the front or back or both. So, and then you got your rear end, which is motor plate, bushings, so on and so forth. And we got a uh, body post set up here. Oh, wow. It's kind of like the uh, Traxxas Slash here, it looks like, how it holds the body on. That's cool. Like it screws on, what I mean. Not just regular posts. And then here's all the front end, king pins, and spring, and all that stuff. It's all labeled pretty good in there. That's cool. Set that one there. And here's your spur. And your diff, or what your tires mount to, I should say, your hubs. And then here's some bar thingy in here. And grub screws. And that's cool, they give you tools to do the kit if you're new and don't have any tools. Here's some more uh, tire rod or ride height shims, my bad. Red height shims, and then here's your motor hardware, your pinion washers. Oh, wow, they got the screws to mount the motor, too. That is cool. Nice. Then I'll have to use the, the uh, torment screws off the motor. And then here we go, guys. Here's the front tires with the brass bushings that pop right in there. I only know what I'm talking about somewhat because I watched already. I'm unboxing of uh of this kit already so that's why i kind of know what's going on so i do it like that I'll take these out yeah here's the rubber o-ring yeah see this is your tire for the front as a o-ring ellie are you kidding me? But anyway, sorry guys, my kids are being kids again. But uh, it's a plastic rim, they're all plastic rims. This is your tread, your tire on the front, which is kind of stupid, but you know, I'm going to glue these bad boys in. And they go, they're pretty hard to pop in there. Surprised they, uh, they come off so easily. But when you're flying, when you're really cooking, you know, there's that one. <coughs> and 
I would like to get, <clears throat> sorry guys, excuse me, I would like to get a, a Traxxas rear tires too, but I'm kind of curious what foam will do versus rubber, because we're doing a no prep, so can't really burn out with those, because they're foam, and we're doing no prep, and I think these will hook better than the uh, rubber tires even warming up. Uh, the rubber tires so we'll try those out see how those play out and uh, go from there with that and then I'm getting uh, aluminum ones for the front they're 36 bucks from Traxxas well I guess these don't pop in there or maybe oh they're just take a little persuasion to uh, try and get it in there there we go yeah just gotta work at it a little bit both sides of the rims here of each rim I should say each will Oh man, this thing does not want to go in there. there. Make sure that bad boy is pressed in there all the way on both wheels. So I'll set those here and here. I'll use these wrenches, I guess, on this kit. All right, guys, sorry I had to go deal with obnoxious kiddos. My son wants to antagonize my daughter for some reason. Pain in the butt. But anyway. We'll get this sucker rolling here. Let's get this open up. Got this. Uh, just trying to get my other deal here. I'm going to set those ones because that's usually all I need. We'll set these here. Oh, got the hiccup. And then, I don't know what the heck that deal is. Huh. It has protective coating on both sides, huh? Or just one? Yeah, both sides. Well, I don't know what that is. That's not the spoiler. Maybe it is. It's a pretty big car. Yeah, I think it's a spoiler. <clears throat> Rear drag wing. And then here's your stickers. Right here, your window masking. Hood scoop masking which that you'll see what I'll do with the hood scoop double sided tape so we'll set that there and then let's get the instructions out and I only paid uh, 89 bucks on eBay for this kit because other places are wanting like 94 to 100 dollars and I was like nah here's your whole uh, chart of parts bodies all this stuff right there legend bodies dirt tracks sprint car all that stuff even the kits tell you how much the kits are and all that that's cool that's nice I'm front and back set that down here all right guys Perfect. I wanted to start with the front end, and that's what we're going to start with. Step one is front end. So, let's see here. That's ride height. Let's see here. Removes the chassis from the bag. Open bag. Insert four, five, eight long screws and the four holes. 
near the front of the chassis and add a quarter inch spacer on each one plus a thin one on the front too. So here's the front end stuff. Let's open this. Get that open. Alright. I'll just pour it all out right here because this is hopefully this is what we're mainly doing. And it's really that's like carbon fiber, but it's not. Okay, so use the rear tires as a jack stand and use one jack stand in the front for me. Okay. <clears throat> and if you guys are curious what how I, what I use to get the Bronco crawler going again. I use the Rock Series Mamba, just so you guys see what I used in that, what's running in it now, but there you go, okay, guess it really doesn't matter, that's how that's going to sit, set that back there, alright, so, it says four, screws <clears throat> so you got to go up to the bottom is what the picture is showing me right there with these white little spacers so we got one two three where is my fourth here we go we got four we got four little plastic doodads alrighty Oh nice, you just pop them right through. Don't thread them in, that's nice. Sitting there threading stuff in forever, huh? Okay. And I guess there's no particular way you have to have the chassis. I guess either way is fine. Neither way is upside down. Because none of the holes are piloted where the screws sit flush in the chassis so don't have to worry about that let's get these little spacers up here on here nope oh there went one <laughs> okay shove that one on gotta put this one back through Of that one on there and then it says these two little thin ones right here go on the front so which one yep on the front too okay sorry guys I was just trying to read it okay so there we go we got those all on there so step two is you throw these bad boys on there like that and then you put all the nuts on there it says so there's that one oh here's two Get on there. There it goes. Grab this guy. And grab this guy. Just like so. And then we gotta tighten those babies up. Which look like a 1.5, maybe a 2. Let's see, here's 1.5. Yep, 1.5. And then we'll grab my little, oh, I think I have that in my, <clears throat> in my bag. So I'll just use a pair of needle noses. I know that's not the right thing to use, but I'm too lazy to reach in my bag or get a different size thing for my screwdriver for that. But this is fine. Just barely snug it up. You don't want to do it too tight and break 
whatever this is because I don't know if it's carbon fiber or not. I don't think it is. There we go. That one's snug. Snug like a bug. Okay. Oh, I'm going to break it already before I even get it out there. Yeah, we're supposed to go this Saturday, guys, but a lot of the other guys don't have their kits in or what they're going to use to be built built to uh, race this Saturday. So they're going to wait, which kind of sucks. I was ready to rock and roll. That's why I bought this right away. But oh well, I guess I can test and tune it. That way I can test out the gearing, gear ratio I want to run. and Because we're doing a uh, cash days, 10, 20 bucks buy-in. Or you can do a run at the list. And probably bet on the side if you want. And um, Oh yeah, use these little studs. And uh Sorry guys, I'm focusing on this stuff, but a $10-$20 buy-in for cash days and then you get to run out the list for free, probably side betting, I won't doubt it, and um, it'll be every Saturday night and uh, we're going to go up there to Santa Fe, I'm assuming once out of the month of every month, I believe is what they're saying, so... We'll see how that goes with that. And uh, hopefully I can get it done how I want it dialed in, you know what I mean? But um, we're going to do that. Where's that washer at? The washer ain't on there? Where's that washer go? And then the rules are, as you can only run a 2S LiPo uh, body, the tires like Rustler people, like the sneaking Rustlers and stuff, the tires have to cover, or the body has to cover the front tires to uh, count. So those are some of the rules that... Uh, that they're going to do with the drag racing. Oh, and I might have to get my dang. Yep, I'm going to have to get my one of my wheel tools out of here real quick. What's nice about buying so many RCs is all the extra tools you end up accumulating and all that fun stuff. Wow, that's an oddball size. That kind of sucks. I don't have another play pair of players. Uh, maybe I do in my bag. That's weird. But they want this screwed all the way to the top, I believe, of the doohickey here. And this is just spinning. And this is still just spinning, what the heck? Yeah, I'm gonna have to get my other pair of pliers. That's lame. That that uh, wheel tool doesn't rip it. And I gotta figure out where I put my dang pliers at here. I don't think I set them in here, did I? And I'm so disorganized right now. There we 
we go. Found them. All right. Let's get this little guy mounted on there. Great. Still spinning. These nuts don't thread on there very well. Yeah, it's just spinning away. Come, what the hell? You're supposed to put these on there and you can't even get the damn thing on there. What the hell? That's freaking dumb. Good grief. I want this. Ugh. What a pain. Well, there's the first problem with the kit. Where the heck did I put those at? Good grief. Oh, there they are. <clears throat> Got stuff everywhere, guys. That's not good. <laughs> See if I can use these little bad boys to hold this darn thing from spinning. So that's all it wants to do. See if that's strong enough to hold it. No, of course not. Well, that's a bummer. That's really lame. Come on. <clears throat> if that doesn't hold it, I don't know what will. Of course it's not. Yep, popped right out. What up? Oh, that's really a disappointment. <clears throat> How come they mess these up, man? What the heck's going on here? <clears throat> well, that really irritates the crap out of me. Now I can't put it together. Because a stupid nut doesn't come the hell off. It's freaking stuck on there. What a damn joke. Yeah, because these are supposed to be at the end of the deal when you're done putting all that together. Well, that is lame. Watch, I bet this thing, yep, see, tightens up right away. That's great. Can't even get these nuts all the way the heck on here. Like it shows on this stupid thing. Because they sit right here like that. And then this nut, locking nut, sits on the end side here at the bottom. Ugh. I don't know how the heck I'm going to get that. I'll be back with you guys on this. If I can get it. Well guys, I'm going to have to figure out something else. Because both of these are stuck on the top of the dang thread here. And uh, they're supposed to come all the way down. And then that nut there. It's supposed to go on the bottom of that all this is on the top of it and lock it in right there but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen and that's like your steering block slash spindle hub assembly for the dang car and uh, yeah <laughs> that's pretty lame now I'm going to have to figure out something else that I can use because it even had springs and everything for the front to actually have suspension. If I run a bolt all the way through, maybe that'll work, but I don't know if I have bolts that dang long. Oh, I might be in luck. Oh, wow, I do. That might work, guys.
and then I'll just put the lock nut on top. Yeah, that might work. I could probably get away with that. I got two of them. The same length it looks like to be. Oh, nice. We're back in business, guys. <laughs> well, there's going to have to be a part two. Because my phone's almost out of video time. So, if, there, if that's the case, I'll upload and then I'll continue on uh, with this here. I just don't know if I can get these all the way through here. Are they even the same size? The thread pitch, that's another problem. Yeah, I'm going to have to use different nuts. Dang it. I'm going to have to use different nuts for that. Got one. Sure, I have another one in my box. Just making sure I don't have another one just laying around on my tray here. Looks too big. Yeah, I'll have to get one out of my box here real quick. Alright, this one should fit this one too. Come on, dude. Quit being a butthead. Go in there. No? What the? What is going on there? I guess it doesn't fit that. Fit this bill here. Come on, dude. I see it. Like that because of the bolt that screwed up. Well, I'll get it on there and make it go on whether it likes it or not. Okay, so I got two of these. Okay, guys, we're good. We should be able to continue this build even with the stock hardware that is junk. Oh snap, I just don't know how I'm going to have the springs hold on there. I'm going to have to find two more nuts to use because there are snap rings. Oh man, I can't get this back open. <clears throat> there we go. Takes a snap ring on the top. That's what that washer is for is at the top. Well. I have to have, oh, that fits perfect over the nut. That's cool. Well, I'll have to find two more. Since the stock hardware is crap so far, to find out. That's great. So this should be a two, two mil. I think these are the SCX-10 um, axle, like shock mount bolts on the axles or links. Something like that for it, but uh, this will this will do. This will have to work. Oh wait, I'm an idiot. I'm putting this on first on the nut on the screw here. I should put it on here first and then tighten it down. It goes on just like this. There we go. This one I have to force it to thread because some reason the end of the dang thread here is not uh, 
It's not working. It's not allowing it to go on there. Oh. Let me see if we got it too. There we go. That'll be better to use for leverage. To hopefully get this on here without messing it up. Nope. It's not going to do it. It's going to be a total pain. Come on, man. Come on there, stupid idiot. Wow. Not going to do it. That's great. Let's see if I can find another one. Same thing. Those are about about that long. Let's see here. Where'd I put these two junk? Oh yeah, those are a little bit too long anyway. Okay. Huh? We'll use these guys instead. The chrome ones give a little a little bit of bling. I guess it's a bigger hex head though, by far. <laughs> okay. We'll use what we got since uh, this kit for some reason doesn't like me okay so we'll go with this nut here I'm sure these screws or these stock nuts won't fit on those no screws there because I think they're too big I think they're a little bit too big we set those two there. Grab this guy, make sure. No, oh, it's shorter. That one's shorter. That one's the same length. Okay. So you guys, even when things go bad, you can always compromise. Always compromise. And it's not like ghetto I mean it's right it'll be right it'll be okay it's not like I'm rigging up some like zip tie or something on there to hold it or something you know so I don't have a problem with it it'll work just as good as the stock hardware if not better and that's what we're after is better so we'll have this go as far as it can then I'll have to take the pliers to it to continue it on. Oh, this thing goes all the way through. Wow, that's amazing. I didn't know that. That makes it way easier. Way, way easier. Go nice and snug. Get this guy. Yeah, I do all my RC stuff, guys, with the hand tools. I don't use power tools, so I don't want to break something, strip something out. So I'm good at stripping stuff out as it is by hand. I don't need any help with the dang power tool. So we'll get these guys all the way on. Whoa, <laughs> or drop it right. But I think next weekend we're going to start running running these bad boys Saturday nights. So hopefully, anyway, that's if everybody's stuff comes in. Now will give me time to get the other body I want to get for this maybe. If I have enough money for that. Okay, so now we got that on, right? So these guys, looks like it's facing this way but they have this pin oh yeah it goes like that for the steering arm so they have this shoved in there 
Ow. As I hit my finger. These pins have little clip-on nails too. I forget what they're called. I just said them earlier, but <laughs> snap rings. There we go. So I wonder. Yeah, we can put the snap rings on the inside part. So let's grab this little snap ring. Oh, sorry guys. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, as I drop it. But uh, we'll pop it on here. There we go. Oh, I thought I had it all the way on there, but I don't. There we go. Now she's on. It's a little snap ring right there. Like that. And just push that pin all the way up against there like that. There's that side. So this can technically slide on there. Make sure you do this one on the inside too as well. And just don't drop it. I hope they give you extras in here. <laughs> well, I already have two extra because I couldn't use the stock hardware for these. So push that all the way through. There you go. That's how it's supposed to look. And you set her on there like that. There we go. Okay. Now I gotta see if these nuts will fit on here. I hope they will. Oh, I think I got lucky. Maybe. I think that's the screwed up one though. From earlier. Yeah. So I'm gonna find another one because I don't want to set the messed up one on there. So we'll set that one there, and I'll try and find another one. I think I found it. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, that's the one that hurts right there. Is that it? No. Here we go. go that one I tried earlier and that same screw that I messed up that other one on beautiful okay and that's why I say guys keep all your screws or I will say anyway keep all your old screws and nuts even when you get uh, aftermarket stuff and you're taking the stock stuff off and you're not using it and like you sell it, just keep the nuts and bolts and screws, man. It'll help you out. Sweet. And now, technically, I have coilovers. Because I can adjust the stiffness of my spring with this nut versus a uh, lock washer type. Or not lock washer, but uh, snap ring on there. So technically I got coilovers on my drag car now. That's pretty cool, I think. Okay. We'll do like that right there. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Those babies are stiff. That's one thing I might have to do, guys, is shave the screws down on there so they're smooth. Because it doesn't like to adjust the spring rate doesn't float or suspension doesn't float but anyway there's the front okay now it says open bag three press on press and what well let pushing into the outside of the motor mount attach the mount to the chassis with two angle brackets note that the front screws screw is flat is a flat head and goes in from the inside install all four screws then tighten okay so bag three which is nope not that one where the heck's bag three at nope nope where is it so, oh it's hiding behind the chassis I can't see it <laughs> There's bag three. Alright, we set this up 
here. Oh, or not. So there's that stuff. So we'll pick her up. Hopefully, I don't lose the screws. And we'll set her like that. And now we've got to work on the rear end. Set those down there. Set these down here out of the way. So we will take this plate here and put one. Okay, so put it just like the picture, guys. And then this one goes through this side here. Press it through like that. And then these little angle brackets here. One goes here, and then one goes right here. So, we'll go ahead and set the. Oh, that's weird how it has a countersink on that one, but this one it doesn't. That is weird. It only has one countersink screw. So, I assume. Let's see this here. Make sure that's the same size and everything. Yep. Okay. So. Should be a 1 to 5. Tighten that baby right in there. I'll wait till I get it all mounted on the chassis before I tighten that all the way up. So I don't have the uh, motor mount sitting all crooked or whatever. That way it sits all nice and flush and flat and then tighten it all down. This one, it's already notched so it has no choice but to sit the right way. So, now it's kind of hard to know. Oh, I think the chassis is facing this way anyway so let me set it back because I want to do it just like the picture so it should sit like that that's weird it says the ones that come up from the bottom are flatheads but they're not there's no flatheads they're all allen wrench so we'll set, oh, set these down here and run up to up to the bottom and tighten this baby up. Alright guys. Hopefully you guys can still see it. Through the bottom here. So we go like this. Go like this. Line it up. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. This thing doesn't want to find the hole here. Come on. What the heck's going on here? There it goes. And we'll just barely snug it. Snug like a bug. And we'll get this front one here. Hopefully, a lot easier. And uh, there we go. Now we can tighten that one up. Tighten that one up. And tighten this one up. Right there, there we go. Okay, guys, there's some of the rear motor mount. Now, step six. Oh, I like how they made this too. <clears throat> they didn't make it like a book, they well, not how it opens anyway. Okay, so that and that. So, I'm assuming. This is for that, so this will sit like this. This bearing goes in through here. Yep, no uh, countersunk sides. That way, you know I'm putting this in the right side. There we go. That's all the way in, and then it should be a bracket. Yep, right here and there. Sorry, guys, I'm not. I'm not much of a reader. I don't have to. If I have pictures or a sense of how to do it, I won't read it. But uh, once again, I'll just barely snug it. 
grab one of these guys and go through the bottom and tighten her up. So what we'll do. Oh come on. There we go. Okay, before I tighten those up, I'm gonna set this top plate. What is this top plate for anyway? Press the other bushing into the axle mount. Slide one tab on the switch plate. Oh wow. Into the slot. And the motor mount and the axle mount into or onto the other tab. And attach the axle mount to the chassis with an angle bracket and two other two uh, quarter screws, quarter inch screws, install quarter inch screws into the slot in the motor and the axle mount to hold them to the switch plate. So, that's weird. So this thing sits in here, in this thing here, or right here? It looks like it's showing it to the back. No, it's supposed to be right there, right there. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to take this back off, guys, and set that plate in there first. Well, that's another lame thing here. There's a slot. The groove is not big enough to put it in there. <clears throat> so, I'm going to have to grab my file. And uh, file it open a little bit more, which is stupid. But, oh well, gotta do it, gotta do it. Just a little bit though, hopefully. See if that's enough. No, uh, I gotta do more on this side here. Oh, come on, stay in there. fit now kind of but not really go oh. that is tight 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 man I'm sure this one will not fit so, let's file this now. Let's 
see if this thing will fit right in there. Easier like the other side here. Probably not. Oh man. What the heck is the deal here? Oh man, I gotta do more, 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 more. does not want to line up at all that is lame oh now it's not like deep enough on that side that's weird <sighs> hopefully that's deep enough now she fit yep she fits now perfect all right oh, what's going on here Got an angle. There we go. Oh, there we go. now she's in all the way now we can take this screw sweet it lines right up like you want it to perfect okay tighten that then we'll tighten this then it says screw there and there on each side of this plate dill here so let's see if we can get her started there we go there we go crazy I don't, that's crazy crazy I thought it was adjustable but I was wrong it's not <laughs> and then you just thread this guy right in there like that bada bing bada boom Okay, so we got that all set up. The rear motor mount or engine compartment, if you want to call it that. All right, let's see here. Now we got to get uh, the uh, body posts. Get these guys open. I mean, other than these two dills, so far this kit is going rather well. I guess it does take uh, body clips. Well, we're gonna fix that, guys. We ain't having. We ain't have body clips. We're gonna do magnets. It's a drag car, so I don't know. We'll see what happens. But there are body clips in there, so oh yeah, it goes into the back here. Those are the front. These are the back, the longer ones, of course. There's the caps, like I was saying, like the slash, how it screws on top. The aftermarket ones. Uh, one, two, we got three. Oh, there's my fourth one. I was wondering. Nice to have different adjustments, too, to uh, accommodate, I guess, which body you run on this rig so come on pop in there and you just take it and screw that baby right on there don't even need tools <laughs> that's nice just goes right on there okay but uh
This one you need one. This one you need one. A little rough. A little tough. Okay. That should be a, a two mil. Yep, two mil. I'll just use my needle nose pliers on this guy. There we go. Make sure this one's tight. There we go. So there's that one. Then the backs. I believe they're on the outer. These guys on. And then once I get the paint, guys, I'll do a video of me painting, prepping the body, masking it if you guys would like. So make sure you comment on that if you guys would like to see that, how I prep and paint and mask and all that fun stuff. Okay. These are to set the body level, like ride heights, but for the body. That's what these are for. That's what these are for. Well, I'll do a magnet system on those because uh, I don't want body pins. Don't want body pins on it. Some reason is spinning this whole deal here. So. Okay. I'll just set these on here so I don't lose them. Maybe. <laughs> It'll let me. Just want to screw on there. Is where the pins slide through the plastic's all sticking out. There we go. These front ones go on smooth, but not the rear. <laughs> okay, there we go. There we go. So now we will do the back of this. Okay, so it's on that hole right there and to the top of the plate. So we need let's see bag six to attach support poles to the center of the chassis with a three eighth screw thread. Does it thread the ball stud into the front of the 